Hey guys, Sasha with FordRetrofit.com. Today I want to show you that it is actually possible to retrofit the Ford Lane Keeping Assist. And this is one of my most complex retrofits so far, besides uh, adding the OEM navigation, which also took forever. Uh, but this is such a complex system. And what I'm very proud of, and what we are sitting in here is a 2013 Ford Taurus SHO. And um, if you don't know it, the 2013 model was not um, um, audible um, with the um, lane keeping assist from the factory that was um, in the 2014 Taurus model and as you can see here real quick we are sitting in a 2013 model manufactured in May 2012 and you can see we don't have the adaptive cruise control, that would be the gap button here. Um, so in 2014, the lane keeping assist was available in combination with the driver assist package. So you can't get the lane assistant as standalone. So there are these couple of things which I basically achieved, which is absolutely unique and not... Um, um, not standard available from the factory and all you basically need is first of all a lot of time and knowledge to program the modules but then you need a new interior mirror when you see that so how the lane assist works there's a camera right here and this camera is basically recognizing the lanes and if you the car steers out of the lane for whatever reason um, it gives a signal to this electric steering wheel which then brings the car back into the lane plus the, the wheel starts shaking and vibrating to tell you that the car is not um, in the lane and all the data comes from such a camera and as you can see the camera and the mirror, this is unfortunately one part and you can't get this uh, without the mirror plus all the electronics. So the real module which calculates everything is inside the mirror. So I already have a camera because I have the auto high beams which is part of the, um, the package uh, from the SHO, the, um, ex, uh, the additional package where you also have the heated seats in the back. Um, but this camera and the module um, is not able to pick up. The camera is actually different when you see this. Let me see if I can show you this a little bit better. You see this is flat here and there is like really a light sensor in there. And this is my new camera and as you can hopefully see this is not flat and this is a real camera lens actually so it's a complete different camera however it's still working for the outer beams so it's serving both so basically you need a new mirror you can find a tutorial on fordretrofit.com how to change the mirror the cable is the same it's already all there and then it's actually um programming seven different modules because it is very very much um, connected to each other so you need the steering wheel uh, module um, which will create the the information if the driver is still um, holding the wheel you need the electric power steering module to make the wheel shaking if you um, leave the the lane and so on and so on. You even need the um, the power control module reprogrammed, uh, otherwise you can't calibrate the camera. Um, so there are a couple things you have to achieve and to do. Um, and then last but not least, very important point, in the original module or in the original Taurus with, equipped with this lane assist, there is an additional button here to turn off the assist and you see I don't have this obviously because it's a 2013 but this button is only to deactivate the uh, system on the fly and you can still deactivate the system in the menu and you don't need the button to activate it um, so basically 
um, I will not exchange the um, the switch because you don't only have to do the switch you also have to run a wire up here up there all the way to the mirror and I simply skip this work because it doesn't make sense for me I don't want to turn it off it's such a great feature so um, I already reprogrammed um, all the modules the only one which is not done yet is the and the most important one is the instrument cluster and again this is something you can't simply take the configuration from a 2013 because then it will also configure the um, adaptive cruise control and you will get lots of errors in the dash um, so that's why it takes forever to find the right configuration and I found all of this so if you need help and you're interested in this let me know so let me show you where we are let me turn on the car okay so as you can see there's nothing fancy in this display um, when we go down to settings and this is actually important in this area there's usually the uh, the uh, lane assist graphics and when we go to settings driver assist you see it's only four things has nothing to do with the lane assist so now let me show you what basically your Ford dealer can do um, I would provide you this configuration file which needs to be specifically for your car and your for your VIN number and um, there's all the configuration in there you need so let us go into module programming and then IPC for instrument cluster and so now it will ask you if you were directed to this from another procedure you just say no and then you say continue and once this file is in the calibration files you can actually um, go ahead and hit automatic here and it should tell you that it successfully retrieved the as-built data so that um, it retrieved it basically from the file and then it tells you set the ignition switch to on switch to on so this is done so let us see what happens once I hit OK here okay make some scary moves and now it's back on and there you can see that you have now the symbol for the lane assist and how it works is these um, these lanes here on the left and right are basically showing you the, the virtual lanes and they will get green as soon as the car recognizes it. And then when we go into settings now, you will also notice when I go to driver assist, I now have first of all driver alert which is also a package with the lane assist. So what that does I show you in a second. And there you see we have now the lane keeping assist and we can say it should alert us, it should aid or it should do both. We can change the sensitivity and the intensity of um, how much the wheel is shaking. So this is basically how it is programmed and then when we go down into the information tab you have the driver alert and um, I show you in a quick video how that uh, actually works um, live. Okay so I hope you liked uh, to see that it's actually possible to do this. I found no one in the internet uh, who has this done yet so I think really nice uh, feature. Um, price wise it really depends at the end you really just need a new mirror if you have these auto high beams already. If you don't have them it will be tricky because the actual windshield is completely different. So um, I would only recommend this if you already have the auto high beams but you can uh, ask me and I give you more details on this. Um, I got the mirror brand new for only $300 so basically the um, hardware investment was $300 and it was a couple of days to 
figure out the configuration from each module. Um, however, now I have this, um, so um, contact me and uh, provide me your VIN number and then I can see where we are and uh, then I can uh, basically give you a more detailed price where you also find all the information you need on my webpage fordretrofit.com. I hope um, there are no open questions. If so, do not hesitate, contact me and yeah, let's see what I'm doing next. Thanks.